there because we said, Baron, that would really be something because he wouldn't talk about the Florida case as much. And, of course, later on he denied that he ever said that and he, he didn't want to do that. And he said the guard stole his notes and things of that sort. And I said, but, Ted, you don't need notes, do you? And, Are these confessions with any remorse at all? Is this very matter of fact? I've never seen any remorse in Ted Bundy except that he got caught and that he's going to die. Are you surprised so, by his so-called demeanor that he is tearful and upset? Not at all. Why do you think he's talking now? I don't know uh, why he's talking now. I guess it's his only chance to buy time, and he may buy a few hours, or he may buy a day, but I don't think he'll buy much more than that. How long is it since you have talked to him? Oh, it's back in 82 since I've talked to him. Do you think he'll ever... We wrote a very unfavorable book about him, and he does not care much for us. Could you tell us again, sir, if you were surprised by the confessions? I was a little surprised at the extent and the... and, and Yeah, I was a little surprised. I thought he'd wait till the last minute and that way the suspense would build and he'd say, you know, people would then may have said, well, my God, he's starting to confess. We must hold this off. So I'm a little surprised he started early as he did. There's talk of an insanity plea. Do you think he has any grounds for it? I don't think he has any grounds for it. I think he was, yeah. I think that the tapes uh, that uh, he made for us in this book uh, that, that was that were used in the competency hearing shows that he knew everything was going on. He was plotting strategy. He was commenting on daily events. He was even planning an escape. And uh, I don't think there's any doubt that Ted has always known. I don't think he's been able to control himself, but he's always known what he's doing. Do you think he'll so ever admit to the Florida murders? Do you think he'll ever confess? I rather doubt it. I rather doubt. There's some reason rather he would always reconstruct these other crimes, but never talk about Florida. Do you have so, any idea why? No, I don't. Sir, so yesterday one of his paralegals told me that he was acting very, very um, out of cahoots. He didn't know what he was telling these investigators, that these were confessions that he probably didn't understand. What do you say to that? Well, I say that what else can you say? I think that's typical Ted. He's, he's playing it for all it's worth. He's, he's Last night in, when he was talking to the investigators, he's playing like he didn't know where he was. He'd forget and he'd pause and he'd get tired. And, and I think this is all part of Ted. He's playing a game. He's buying time. He's not one to stay out of the media like what? No, no, no. He's but called that press conference now and called it off. Well, I never thought that he'd want to. Uh, I think he still will retain among some people the fact that he's never confessed. He just talked about these murders. You might remember there's a gentleman from Florida State University, Dr. Redlett, I believe. He said Ted told him he just discussed his crimes. He did not confess. Ted will always play that game with you, right down the line to his death. What kind of man do you think Ted Bundy is emotionally? Again. Well, I think he's... He's an articulate man. He's a very uh, enjoyable man to be around if you're not a young woman. And uh, if you like that type, he's, uh, as I said, he's entertaining. He's got a good sense of humor, but he's also very devious. He's very, uh, and he's a mean son of a gun. <laughs> They've said he's tearful and uh, afraid, scared. Right. That's what I hear, too. I hear that from several people. I'm not a bit surprised. I think you'll see more of that. I think the man's a wimp. I mean, people that, uh, that sneak up on women and kill them and... What else can you say? Uh, he'll, cr he'll cry more. Could Police you? Chief Avail has said that he thinks that Ted is confessing so he can, quote, get into heaven. Seattle when he uh, uh, toyed with the cops, Salt Lake City when he knew that he was being tailed, he made the most of it, right on through his escapes and uh, all the, uh, he's never done anything but have a circus atmosphere, so, you know, it's just another situation, it's a tentism, you know, it's not fair, they're doing it too Bob, much. I'll hold it for you. Uh, Lucy, I'll hold it for you. Be sure not to touch the mic and stand in fall. Okay. <laughs> we got a little height problem here, I guess. Okay. Can you all hear me? Yes. All right, now we've got some handouts over across the way here that will uh, be available to all of you, indicating visitation over the weekend, the specifics on that. There are quite a few details, I think, that you're all been asking about, law enforcement visits, social visits. Visits from the attorneys. Sure. <laughs> What's your title, Bob? 
Information Director, Department of Corrections. How do we say your name, Bob? M A C M A S T E R. Capitalized? Uh, just the first M is capitalized. Uh, we can do this two ways. I can run through a little uh, brief outline of what's going on over there now and then field some questions, or we can just open it up to questions now if you want to. Do you have outline right now. Outline. All right. Louder, please. All right. Can you all hear? Yeah. I know we got some press people here. We don't have a PA system, so it's going to be difficult. If, after we're done with the broadcast, with the microphones and so forth, you wish, I'll be glad to meet with the uh, uh, additional people that want to hear a few things then, all right? Bob, it's probably best just to talk right down into the mic. Okay. I can tell you that right at this time, uh, Dr. Dorothy Lewis, a psychiatrist, and some of the attorneys are meeting with Bundy. That will continue probably through the noon hour today. We'll go from that point with another law enforcement visit scheduled with the Colorado State Attorney General's office. After that, there is a one-on-one -on -one interview with Dr. James Dobbs, which you're aware of. This evening, there are additional attorney's visits along with a social visit from 10 to 12 with John and Marcia Tanner. He is a newly elected state's attorney on the east coast of Florida. Are there any questions from you about uh, procedures for tomorrow morning? Why don't you run through it? Uh, What's happening today? Uh, when will you begin the, the uh, preparation, bring him to the death watch cell, all of that? He's already at a death watch cell. He's already at a death watch cell right now at this time. He was placed in death watch. The day the warrant was signed last Tuesday. How far is that from the execution chamber? That's about 30 feet. What is a death watch cell? Describe it for us. Death watch cell is nothing more than a, a, a regular cell. It's a little larger than the standard death row cell. It's about 9 feet wide, uh, 12, 14 feet deep. And uh, he'll be in there uh, until he's let out tomorrow morning to go to the uh, execution. What time will that be? His demeanor at this time? His demeanor? His demeanor, he's been very subdued. Uh, he seems to indicate that this is indeed uh, uh, a serious point in the uh, events. Will Bob, if Dr. Lewis... From the psychiatrist that he wants from the state, is there any chance this will be put off further? Can he demand and get that today? I can't really go into that for you. You'd have to talk to the Attorney General's office on that. What's a well, series of events for tonight, uh, 6 o'clock on until 7 o'clock tomorrow, if you could briefly? Sure. Uh, his visits with attorneys will begin again about 8 o'clock. He's got a social visit from 10 to 12 with John and Marcia Tanner. At 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, he'll be offered a last meal. Now, as many of you have heard, he's declined anything uh, special for that last meal, so he'll be offered a traditional steak and eggs. What else? Yep. There'll be steak, eggs, orange juice, coffee, hash brown potatoes. Bob, in the past, the superintendent had a drink person about to be executed. That's still a standard procedure at Scott. If I understand your question, you're asking whether or not uh, he'll meet with the superintendent. Is that right? No, will he have a drink with the superintendent? No, 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 no. But that used to That's been discontinued for some time. Why was that discontinued? Uh, probably because of some adverse publicity, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> What's the role of the, attorney, of the psychiatrist? Through, can you walk us through the final hour up until 7 o'clock and what happens at 7? Sure, absolutely. Let's go back to about five when he's offered the last meal. Uh, following that, he'll, he'll be uh, the top of his head and his lower right leg will be shaved. He'll be showered and dressed in a dark blue suit, white shirt. Traditionally, he meets with the superintendent for a few minutes prior to the execution. About 10 minutes to seven, the witnesses will be led into the witness room. There'll be 12 citizen witnesses and uh, 12 media witnesses. Those have already been appointed. At uh, about one or two minutes prior to seven o'clock, they'll begin leading him the 30 feet down the hall to the execution chamber. He'll be strapped in, asked if he has any last words. That will be made available, of course, to the people in the witness room. At that point, they'll attach a metal cap and a black veil over his face. The superintendent, Tom Barton, will check by telephone with the governor's office to see if there's any last stays or any reasons why the execution should not be carried out. If not, he will turn and the executioner, who remains anonymous, 
will receive a nod from the superintendent. The executioner will then turn the switch. And uh, for a two minute cycle of voltage, uh, the execution will be carried out. How much, uh, How much time does he have for his last one? Is he going to be There is no set time on it. Uh, the longest any of those have usually run is four or five minutes. How strong is the bolt? It's 2,000 volts, 14 amps. Could he talk as long as he wants to, though? No, he cannot. There is a time limit? There is a time limit because, as I said, the execution has been set for 7 o'clock. Uh, generally, they're carried out anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes after 7. Are there any arrangements being made today for Dr. Dobson to come out and talk to the media? I'm sorry, what Are there any arrangements being made for Dr. Dobson to come out and uh, talk to the media? I understand the head of the Broadcast Association, Patrick Roberts, is attempting to reach him to discuss that with him. It is not something the department will have an active role in. Is there only one executioner, and if so, how is he chosen? I can't tell you as to the numbers of potential executioners. There is only one executioner present for the execution. He was chosen from a list uh, that was formulated in the late 1970s. What is the next step with Dr. Lewis? She's already felt that he was incompetent to stand trial. If she says he's incompetent at this point, what is the next step of his appeal with the three men appointed the doctor committee of the government? I can't answer that for you. That's something the attorneys will have to decide. Have you talked to him? What's he said to you personally? Have you talked to him at all? I haven't talked with him recently. Has he said anything about family at all? That won't be decided until he's asked. He'll be asked uh, just a few minutes, probably three, four minutes after seven, if he wants to say anything. Well, well, he's 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 described him as very erratic. He said that he's cheerful, that he's saying things that, that he can't be responsible for. That's a direct contrast to telling us he's uh, The people I've spoken with who have, have spent the last 48 hours with him said that uh, he was. His demeanor was generally uh, negative, that he was uh, uh, subdued. You know Has he finally said to any of those people that he knows this is the end? Sorry, I, yeah. I do have a list of visitors. There are, at this time, there are no immediate family members on that list. Bob, when you say that, when you say that Bundy realizes that this is a serious point in the chain of events, is it your impression that he realizes that this is it? It is. And to follow up on that, how does his demeanor this time compare to his demeanor in 86 when he was also up for I can't answer that. I wasn't here then. Okay. Bob, well, is there any indication he's, he's confessed to any more uh, murders? Or what is the story on that as far as you know about what he's confessed to? All I can tell you is that investigators from four states have been talking with him over the last several days as to what he's talked to them about. That's between them and him. Bob? Are you concerned about protesters, counter-protesters, uh, especially in light of all of the media attention that's focused here? No, no, it does not appear to be a problem. Is there more media for this execution than any other? I can't tell you that. Again, any any uh, discussions as to the specifics of his cases would be between the attorneys and the investigators and would not involve the Department of Corrections. Well, has he made Jeff any Warren was for his uh, burial or whether he's going to be cremated or said anything about where any of that? The last the, the last information I had on that is that the body will be taken to the Gainesville Medical Examiner's Office uh, by the D Doyle Archer Funeral Home from Lake Butler. From that point, I don't know what arrangements are in place. Would it be taken to Tacoma, Washington, delay? do you think? <coughs> I don't Bob, know. Bob, the chances of a delay because of an insanity plea, a new insanity finding. I can't answer that. Bob, is this yeah. the most that media that has turned out for an execution? Uh, the most that I've seen, yes, absolutely. Bob, Bob if you when did Jeffrey Dory get executed? Does he have any shot at it at this point, or is he blown up? Right. If, you want if he wanted to have the group, you mean? Yeah. Uh, time is running very short for that. We'd have to evaluate that if he ever should change his mind in the next hour or so. We'd have to make a new evaluation at that time. How long will the body be at the medical examiner's office? Any idea? I don't know. No one claims that body, do they? Wayne has cut. So that we have to evaluate it. What's the latest Bob, have you, have you heard anything about when, when Justice Kennedy might be expected to rule from the Supreme Court? No, I don't know that. Bob, when was the last time you saw the
We do not have a designated religious representative at this time. How many people have Florida executed since 79? Excuse me? How many people? Watch. It's named that partly because there's an officer at cell front 24 hours a day. Will his body be taken back to Washington? His body? I don't know what will be done. The arrangements are not complete for that yet. I do not. I've talked with the food service and security. I think there's about 1,600 in total. Any sense of the move throughout the prison? Obviously, word of this spreading. Oh, this is definitely a focus of interest throughout the prison. Are there anything the prisoners are saying? A lot of them are saying looking forward to that. Is there any more sense besides that general any other really the 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 kind of protests like no? Spending Link that had some problems with the uh, protesting the death penalty in San Diego? Any dissension among the other death cells? No, we, ha we don't have any problems. Have you been watching TV or reading newspaper about what's going on? I'm sure he's well informed uh, through his attorneys and he has access to a television. To your knowledge, does Bundy keep a diary and would that be open? I don't know if he does or not. Bob, how many, how many people get on death row now? 297 on death row. Well, how late will the investigators be allowed to question him? How late? Uh, would you say that again, please? How, how late will the investigators be allowed to go in and question him? That'll depend on his wishes. We'll cooperate uh, as late as is possible to keep within the schedule for the execution. Who are they, who are they in your family? Yes. Uh, <coughs> We've got an investigator scheduled this afternoon from the Colorado State Attorney General's office. There also have been investigators from three other western states. I believe it's Utah, uh, Washington, and uh, Idaho. Oh, additional visits. The only additional visits I have from that point on are the one-on-one -on -one interview with James Dobson and visits with the attorneys and John and Marcia Tanner. What is what the, name the, of the, the investigator from Colorado? The name of the investigator from Colorado? I don't have that. Is what do we know about the Dobson's going to talk with us afterwards? What do Excuse we know me? about whether there will be any arrangements for Dobson to talk with us? What will we know about that? That'll be up to them. Well, he can't we have not, They won't tell us at noon, or have we got any idea of when? They'll it's not something that? we're coordinating. If there is a stay late this evening, mm -hmm. where can we find out about that? Uh, we'll contact the wire services immediately. You're all patched through to your various organizations, I think, to be able to determine it from that. Okay, so uh, I've got a list over here that will answer all those questions for you. I can't answer that for you. You know and can't answer? I don't know. What do you mean by negative? I've been told that uh, he was more emotional and more subdued uh, about this than he has been in the past as times have drawn near toward. How long this morning he's been meeting with the uh, It started about 9 o'clock. Uh, when I left the prison about 45 minutes ago, yes. Okay. Is he being tested? I don't know what they're doing. Are the Do you know what time the Colorado investigators appointment is? Uh, it was tentatively set for 1 o'clock, but that could change. What's the more emotional? What do you, do you elaborate on that? No, I can't elaborate any more on it than that. I've talked with several people who have been in close contact with him, and those are the only descriptions they've given me. At what point will the three psychiatrists from the state go in, if necessary? I don't know. Who's going to have his personal articles after he's executed? He'll, uh, He'll, he'll have to sign a form. I assume that's being handled over there now. It's traditional the day before uh, to ask the inmate to sign a form for disposal of personal possessions. His the idea was it to did you say that they have the trio of psychiatrists ready to be here today, or would he automatically carry over? I don't have any new information on that. Okay. Whose idea was it? Uh, very little. Most of his personal possessions have been removed. Those that he might need on a periodic basis are handed to him by a correctional officer. He, of course, has things like bed clothes and uh, very little else. The television sets outside of his cell where he can view it, but it, it again, is uh, uh, controlled by a you correctional officer. You said there's officer. a guard around the clock. Is he watching him around the clock? Absolutely. Is that to prevent him from killing himself?
generally it's to prevent him from harming himself or from attempting to harm anyone else and of course to prevent any attempts at escape. Well, how does he shame what type of beating uh, I can only... Is that Utah or here? That was here. And nothing else since here? That's the, the only one I'm familiar with, to when be honest. Uh, 1984. We'll be out, I'll be out again at uh, about 5 with some updates. I want to try and see if there's a, a firmer schedule for visitation this evening. If we do get something on that, we'll definitely add that, along with a, a, probably a better printed form of uh, what's transpired over the weekend. Do you know the latest possible date that uh, Justice Kennedy can act? Again, I, I, we keep getting questions on the uh, uh, appeals process and this sort of thing. It's not something that my office handles, and I really can't answer any of those for you. Whose idea? Did he, requ did he request, Bob, did, did he request to do this Dobson interview? Yes, he did. That was strictly of his own volition, and he came to us with the request for Dobbs. Why? Did he say? He did not say why. How many people strap him down? Uh, he'll be escorted in by three officers, and uh, those three plus additionals uh, are available for it, depending on the uh, uh, situation. Usually just three. Will he be shackled until he gets to the chair? They have a manacle that's placed on each wrist so they can uh, uh, prevent him from attempting to break away. He doesn't have legs on No, there's no leg on They are at the prison. Who are they? They've already arrived. What? No, but the written press here probably has that better than anybody. I don't know. I mean, you need to find somebody with a tell. I'm Pat Roberts. I'm the executive vice president of Florida Broadcasters. But uh, Dobson will be here. And uh, uh, as I'm sure you're aware at this point, Ted Bundy. As I'm sure you're aware at this point, Ted Bundy met with uh, Dr. James Dobson from 2:30 to 3:30 today, and did tape a one-on-one -on -one interview. Uh, I can't comment on the contents of that interview. It's my understanding that uh, Dr. Dobson intends to stop over here in a few minutes, so, and I'm sure he'll be glad to discuss something of that with you. Uh, right now, Bundy's with his attorneys. He's being served for supper tonight a meal of a burrito, rice, and salad. This evening's schedule includes a legal visit with five attorneys from 8 to 10 p.m., a social visit from 10 to midnight with James Boone, John Tanner, Marsha Tanner, and a Methodist minister from Gainesville. His name is Fred Lawrence. Who's James Boone? James Boone is listed on the visiting list as a friend. Fred Lawrence? Is that Carol's son? Fred Lawrence is the minister. Is that Carol Boone's son? I don't know. Uh, there will be a final contact visit from midnight to 1 a.m. with John and Marsha Tanner and James Boone. Can you tell us what his mood is now? Excuse me? His mood? The hour that I saw him during the interview, uh, he was quiet most of the time. He seemed a little depressed at times. Can you identify yourself, please, sir? I'm Bob McMaster with the Department of Corrections. Any word? I have not heard anything. The department has not been notified of any change in the warrant. Everything is still set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. When I talk to Colorado. Is there any room in this schedule you just have to find here for the governor's appointed psychiatrist to come in and see him? Uh, as things stand at this time, uh, there is a three hour period that I haven't accounted for here from 5 to 8 p.m. I can't tell you what's going to take place at that time. We don't have anything scheduled right now. Bob, when he talked. Not to me. I don't know anything about that. Bob, did he talk to Colorado today? And if so, for how long? I can't update you any more than I did earlier today as far as law enforcement visits are concerned. There was a uh, tight schedule with the interviews and so forth. Do you know if he has any more confessions today? I don't know. I can't comment on that anymore. Do you mean you cannot because uh, or that you don't know? As far as, <laughs> as, well, both. Let's put it this way. Could you explain? Bob? Uh, we're not we're not in the position of commenting as far as any discussions with other agencies that are investigating crimes. It'll be up to those agencies to release information on what they uh, ascertain. Bob, when you when you say that he seems to be depressed at times during this period, does he seem to be uh, 
uh, stricken with the uh, finality of what is about to happen? I think that's a big part of it. He's speaking to me. It appeared to me that he realizes that uh, uh, there's only a few hours left. Can you repeat that? It's Sorry, what you that? It appeared to me that he realizes that there's only a few hours left between now and 7 a.m. tomorrow, and he realizes the finality of the situation. Did he feel emotional? Somewhat. How so? Oh, yes, yes. Was he crying? Oh, he bowed his head quite a bit and uh, appeared to uh, be a little bit upset. Uh, perhaps. It appeared that way. After 1 a.m., there's nothing planned until about 5. He'll be offered a final meal of steak and eggs at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, we'll be picking up witnesses here at this location at 5.30 to take over uh, for viewing the execution, of course. At 5.30 or thereabouts, uh, they'll shave inmate Bundy's head and lower right leg. He'll be showered, dressed in uh, dark blue trousers, a white shirt, and will be let in for execution at 7 a.m. Uh, they shave the entire uh, hair area of the head. Not that I'm aware. Any family visitors? Which leg did you say? Lower right leg. There are no plans for family visits at this time. Bob, as you said, whether you want to get married or three days. A funeral home in Gainesville is handling those arrangements. I can't tell you what's been decided beyond that. Uh, I don't know. During all of this, has he ever said he's sorry or why he killed all these people? Uh, that's not something I can comment on at this time. Bob, I, I know you can't talk about what you might have told investigators, but can you, did he meet with any investigators from Colorado or anyone else? There were several investigators in the building today, but as to, as to how far their uh, attempts at meetings went, I can't really tell you. What about the meetings for the psychiatrist today? I can't comment on that either. I don't know what the uh, express purpose of that was, as a matter of fact. Uh, there really won't be any more updates here this evening unless there should be a, a change uh, in the status of the whole situation. 5.30 tomorrow morning, I will have some new information for you. That's uh, really... Uh, it did not appear to me to be that Is he pretty much resigned himself that this is the end? It appeared that way to me, yes. It appeared what? It appeared that... Uh, he was accepting the finality of the situation. That's about all I have to say here tonight. Bob, can we, can the, uh, we talk you know, into coming out one more time tonight? Perhaps at 10 o'clock for the late show, just, just in case there is anything. If there's anything new, I will be back uh, around that time frame. Absolutely. It's my understanding that there are three on standby in case they're needed, but there's no... Are they reviewing records? I can't tell you that. I don't know. They're, Wait, they're on standby they? at this point. Or they like Bob. Uh, they're just on standby. That's all I can tell you. I'm there after uh, one o'clock. No, no visits after one. Will you have any relatives or friends in among the witnesses? Uh, I don't know. I have not seen the official witness list for tomorrow morning. Relatives would not be permitted. Okay. Yes, we'll make that. A